Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show how to use the prepinned, append, and append macros within Harlow 3.3. So across multiple videos, we've been looking at changer macros, the ability to change something. We've seen how we can use the change macro and the enchant macro to create enchantments. We also know how we can access the hooks within a page by using their name, using a question mark for the name of the hook when we're referencing within a macro. So we can say change, use the name of some hook and affect some change. Generally though, the changes that we've been making are in presentation. We've been changing the style, the use of bold or strong emphasis or emphasis, the size, the color, things like that. We've also seen how we can use show and hide macros to change the visibility. Is it shown or not? What if we want to change the content of the macros? So instead of the style or presentation, the actual content itself. To do that, we're going to focus on three different macros as part of this video. So there may be situations that we want to change content. So what if we want to prepend content to a particular macro? Or, or to, to a particular hook using the prepend macro. So in this case, I can say, hey, go find this hook based on its name and add things to the front, prepend. At the same time, I could say, hey, actually use a particular set of words or phrases and add more to it. Now notice in the case of prepend right here, I'm using a named tag right here, name tag to access some type of hook. But for this, append is working like we've seen enchant do. And as a reminder, when we were previously working with change, we were working with a special version of something called enchantments that are available through enchant. So notice that append works just like enchant does. And in fact, prepend works the exact same way as we'll see as part of a different passage within this video. So we can use our knowledge of change or enchant working with either the names of hooks or words or phrases that might appear within a passage to affect them. Let's look at how prepend and append work in this particular passage. This is content in the hook, and this is more content, but that's not actually what it is. So it's been changed dynamically. So notice this is right here is part of prepend. Content in a hook is what it originally started as, and this is prepended content in a hook. The same with, and this is more content, notice with append. So now we can start to affect words and phrases and hooks within particular passages using prepend and append. Well, what if we wanted to use the third macro, replace? Replace works exactly the same with repeat as prepend and append does using either a name of a hook or the words or phrases to replace. So let's look at example two. Let's dynamically completely replace the content of a passage right here with literally the word begin, replace begin with the content of this passage is being replaced dynamically. So let's see this in action. If we build and play, we just dynamically replace the content of a passage based on a particular word that was found using the replace macro. And this really opens the door for us to dynamically adjust content in a passage using either the name of a particular hook, if it exists, or either using words or phrases we can search for that we previously saw with enchant. So remember, these are all part of changers, right? Replace Prepend and append are also changers, along with enchantments that we've seen from previous other macros. So potentially then, we could take something that has a couple of different words in a passage, or even a single word in a passage, replace it, and then completely rewrite a passage dynamically using the knowledge we have of how other macros work. Or let me show you a very silly example. So what if we started with the words very silly and I completely rewrote them dynamically using replace, prepend, and append, which is to say very silly will be replaced with is, prepend will be replaced with this, and upend will add this is, and then to that, a sentence. Or put a completely different way, if we go ahead and start the story from example three, and a very silly example, this is a sentence, but completely created dynamically. 
So as we start to think about how we organize stories within Twine, one of the things we can do is instead of creating multiple passages, potentially we can use prepend, append, and replace to change a single passage or dynamically shape passages based on interactions we have seen from readers or players. As they get data, as they, we use things like input or input box, in lots of other things we're going to see in future videos, we can start to dynamically respond to those things and change things in real time. In fact, as we now get closer to more complex operations and patterns within working with macros in Harlow, we can start to see how things become very complex very quickly, but also at the same time, much more dynamic. So potentially we could create links and link off to a bunch of different passages within a story. At the same time, if we would prefer, we can now use multiple macros together and especially multiple concepts of how macros work, thinking particularly of different changers, to radically change how a story is presented to a reader or player, replacing things, prepending things, and upending things as needed by working with our knowledge of previously looking at enchantments and the enchant macro, bringing that knowledge in to upend, replace, and prepend working within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.